Hi, hello. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I got my silk bonnet on. You see what time it is? And I'm sitting over here on live, so. <sighs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> Y'all know how I roll, so. Bonnet, no bonnet, you know I was asleep. My hair's in braids. Any old way, so it don't even matter. But <laughs> there's three kind of people in this world, guys. There's three kinds of people. Okay, so uh, how you beautiful souls doing? To the ones of you out there that actually have souls. So it's three types of people or entities, spirits on this earth. They're the ones that have souls, the ones that don't have any souls. And the ones that have souls, but they are being puppeteered. They have, um, they let these entities come take over and use them, you know, as a puppet or use them to do their dirty work. Yeah. So they inherit their bodies. So those are the three types of people that are in this, this world that, well, this zoo that is called the world. This is a zoo. This is where we come to learn. So, Guys, let me tell you, I'm out. I'm the demon slayer. <laughs> okay, I am. I am a demon slayer. Okay, you should let me tell you about what's been happening to me. As you can hear, right? I sound like I have a cold, right? So this weekend, this Friday, well, I got off Saturday morning because I work, you know, at night. So anyway, I get off work, right? Everything's cool. So I get home like, shit, when I, that same Saturday, I got this cold, like this little sniffles coming on to me and stuff. So I take it. All right, I got a cold. I'm like, nah, I don't have a cold. I'm saying to myself, no, I don't have a cold, right? I'm like, damn, and here it is Sunday. It's Monday now. Well, yesterday I finally said to myself, you have a cold. I finally admitted that shit, okay? I didn't have a choice. I have a cold. So I started taking Robitussin uh, late in the night, which I should have been started taking it. But I'm feeling a little bit better, you know, so I was a little under the weather. I have been having so many things happen to me. Guys, the last thing when I did a live, and I think I went on there when I was in the hospital, like, I had a conversation, uh, let me see, my son's father picked him up, uh, when did he pick him up? Sometime, I think it was Saturday, and then he brought him back like a Monday, I think, it was a Monday or Tuesday, well, whatever day, and then that following Wednesday, I ended up in the hospital, so my, my blood pressure was a little high, and my heart rate was only beating 46 beats per minute. So that is why I passed out at work. So I ended up going to the hospital. Now, I think I went on live and I told you guys that something about, you know, and I haven't seen my kid's father for a long time, you know, but I'm the kind of person like this. I'm not afraid of anything, you know, and, and, People, people know when they have wronged you. You understand? They know if they have any type of conscience, you know, or even if they don't, eventually in time, they will come to the fact where they've wronged you because something within them will be wrong. You understand? So even though this person know they have wronged me and I have a child with you, so I have to be somewhat cordial, which I cut off all communication, but, you know, he wanted to see his son. But anyway, and all he was telling me was like he was telling me that, you know, I fucked up, I messed up, blah, 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 but never said sorry, never apologized, never 
admitted to being sorry. Look, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you didn't even have to talk about things. This person only telling me about what somebody else was doing. Yeah, like it was somebody else was doing this and that and how their situation was not well and da, 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 da. So you still selfish talking about your situation not well, but that is what you wanted for me. You understand? You wanted that for me, but whatever you wish back for me, God made it good for me. You understand? Because of my lifestyle that I live. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. You understand? I'm not saying I'm perfect. Look at me. You know, I'm, when I lived in Georgia for so many years, you know, and God knows I could tell you stories about some things up there. You know, and then I moved down here. I mean, out of the things that happen, I look at it like this. Life is a journey. And I signed on for this journey. And I signed on for it to be exceptionally different than others. So I go through things. You know, like I say, I'm a demon slayer. So not only that, once I got out of the hospital, guys... It was like a couple weeks, I think. Then guess what happened, y'all? You know, I'm dodging accidents, you know, because certain little, certain little funny shit keep happening, but I dodge it. You know what I'm saying? But I was, I fell. One day I went somewhere. I'm not going to say everything because, you know, some people are watching that trail me that it's not for my highest good. But Anyway, I stepped on um, something slippery. My left foot went straight forward. My right foot bent back, you know, and I had a, that shit was crazy. And I was trying to brace my fall, so I fell on my back. So now here I am when I went to the hospital again. So I'm back in the hospital, y'all. So the doctor wrapping my, my leg and my knee because it's fucked up. I tore something. So I have to wear this big ass long brace. You know, I'm like, how the fuck? I got to go to work tonight, right? So here I am wearing this big ass long brace. I'm at work. I'm walking limping like this. So that happened to me. So I kind of stayed away from making videos. Not like I used to, but... It's like, I'm fighting, y'all. I'm fighting here. It, this is a spiritual warfare. It comes in different ways. You understand me? And, 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 and they coming for me. They coming for me, and I'm fighting. You know, this is my life. And now, even though I went to work, so now I, I minimize the size. You know, after wearing it, uh, the leg brace, I had to, I got a smaller one, but I have to wear it for at least up to six weeks, you know, yeah, up to six weeks. So just so my leg can get back to normal. I think I'm at, I'm only at a week and a half, I think. So I still got like, damn, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, but at least I'm wearing a smaller one to work. So, but after standing, even when I take the meds that they give me, after standing at work, you know, after being up about, what, six hours, seven hours, then, you know, the pain starts kicking back in. About, I say about, it, it's even before six. About 5 o'clock, I start feeling the pain kicking back in, and I'm at work. But I only take one one pill, and then I go to work, you know. I take the one pill, but I'm good. I got a, I got a cannabis license, y'all. I got, well, that's probably the only good thing. <laughs> but I took that instead of, um, because... I had a few accidents in Georgia where I got hit by a car. And the last accident um, messed up my back where I have like three herniated discs 
and an angular tear. So I had to, doctor was going to give me some pain medication, but I've been there and done that. I didn't want no pain medication. So I told him, you know, is there anything else I can do besides that? Because I don't want to take pain medication again because you get addicted to those things. You start taking those things and you get addicted to them because you're going to need them because you're in pain. But they don't treat the pain. They just mask the pain. You understand? So now I'm I'm looking into holistic medicines. I'm 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 more into that now in herbs, you know, even with the cannabis, there's different things that you can do, because let me tell you, the pain is real, it's real, but, well, I guess I want to get on and show you guys I'm still here, I've just been, I've been fighting, fighting these damn, how can I say this? You know, it don't matter how I say it, because some people, everybody will have their own opinion, which I don't give a damn. You understand? I, I, what I say from me talking to you guys and telling you certain things, nobody can make this shit up. Okay? So, yeah, I know I'm coming at you for real. And for those of you that know me, know me, you know I talk. You know, whatever comes out of my mouth, I'm normally talking real shit. Yes, for real. I'm blunt. To a fault. <laughs> so, but this is the way I am. This is what you see is what you get. But don't be fooled by what you see. You understand? Don't judge a book by its cover. Because there's so many other things that's hidden that you don't know nothing about. You understand? But I pride myself on my self-worth. I pride myself on that, on integrity. Like... I want to be treated like I would treat someone. You understand? You respect me. I don't care where I'm from, what I have on, what I look like. You don't know me. I don't know you. So I'm going to treat you with respect. You understand? And me, I'm the type of person, like, if I have to lie, I don't. I can't even lie with a straight face. You understand? Because it's not in me. I'd rather tell you the truth than have to work hard to keep up a lie. I'm going to tell you the damn truth. It is what it is. Because the truth comes out anyway. You heard that saying? Whatever's in the dark must come out into the light. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's be for real. I'm sorry, y'all. I told you. Now I'm, I'm, I'm battling this cold here. So... Cause can you imagine me coming from the hospital, then in the back of the hospital with a cast on my right leg, going to work five days a week, driving, and now I'm I'm fighting this cold. Yeah, and I live up on the third floor. You know what I'm saying? It's like the fucking penthouse. <laughs> Let me tell you, I counted the stairs. Okay, twenty nine stairs. I walk up. And down. Can you imagine walking up and down stairs on a cast? Come on, y'all. On a leg brace, I mean. No. Yeah. My knee is still bothered. You know, after working so much, after working eight hours coming home, I take that brace off, and I'm telling you, I have to, like, sit down. I have to just relax a bit and get in some hot water Put some Epsom salt in there, and it, you just gotta do so many things. Cause I, well, I feel I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, and I'm optimistic. Listen, my throat chakra. You know, <laughs> you know, there's a there's a thing with being spiritual, because you see things that some people don't see, and you hear things that. Everybody can't hear. You understand? So, you may be thinking, she kind of off, she weird, and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you the truth. I want to be weird. I don't want to be normal. Because I'm not. There's nothing normal about me. I'm not supposed to fit in. I'm, I don't fit in. I never have fit in. No. So, I stand out. You understand? And I'm cool with that. Because I'm my own person. And I love being alone. You know, I like my alone time because it gives me time to think and just, I love my company. 
You understand my energy? Yeah? And instead, I guess that's why it depends on your mission, you know, what it is that you're here to do. Because with certain missions, you 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 have to be alone. You know, you until you meet your soul tribe or people that you can trust, but Anyways, I'm not going to be on here too long, y'all. I just wanted to pretty much touch base on what has been going on with me, some things here. So, I'm going to try to put myself back to bed. So, I might go ahead and meditate a little bit here and then I go to bed. So, if nobody has told you today, I love you. I appreciate you and I'm grateful for you. And, you know, I don't like to say goodbyes, but I will say this. Love you later. <laughs>